Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wilds of Ice Ice Outpost, where we are currently watching the beautiful Arctic wolves who hang out in Wolf Valley inside of a mountain to the north of the small village of Shepherd's Nook as they begin roaming through a lovely blizzard and prepare for the pack to undergo some changes. So that's actually what we're going to be focusing on today is- Oh, look at her, get it! Oh, good job, Blizzard! Good job! <laughs> Today is that we are going to have the Arctic Wolf Pack undergo a new shift in leadership when Blizzard's only child... So let's see, where on earth did we go, Snowcone? <gasps> Snowcone! You just grew up on us! Oh my gosh, perfect timing, Snowcone! So all right, guys, it is actually time to go ahead and we are going to, uh, we're gonna release Snowcone and Blizzard and Crystal, I think, to the wild. Is it Crystal we wanna release? Yes. So we're gonna be releasing a few of the females of our wolf pack back into the wilds now that the Blizzard has arrived so that we can go ahead and have Frost inherit the position of being the alpha wolf of this area and invite a new mate into the area so that she'll be actually be able to go ahead and to carry on with the fourth generation of our arctic wolves which is very exciting it's like doing a legacy challenge but with wolves of course everybody would love that uh, and I think while we're doing this, we're going to have the blizzard that arrived and that is going to like produce some avalanches. It's going to allow some of our wolves to finally leave the valley and invite in, you know, a new wolf to the valley. We're also going to let those like blizzard slash avalanches, we'll say, that happened during this winter to remove the toys. And we're going to put in all new fresh toys. Uh, like we'll put down some little avalanche spots too. I think that'd be really cute. Just like put a little avalanche over here a little avalanche over there a little avalanche is a treat <laughs> and we're gonna get a new wolf and then amongst all of that we're also going to try to work on keeping shepherd's nook healthy and happy by adding in something new for guests over in the arctic area i'm not really sure maybe it'll be like a little building right here that could give them some sort of food or snack uh that like a little cabin <gasps> we could have a cute little cabin where like a, a little guy lives and he sells something out of there while watching over the wolves i love it so that's going to be our goal for the day there's a million other goals we could have taking care of our snow leopards taking care of, you know, the bachelor herd of sheep, continuing to build up the path to the top of the mountain where we're going to have a whole bunch of warthogs roam and pretend that they are forest boars, adding in that grizzly bear I swore that we would get in ages ago, starting the, like, different herds of reindeer, the wild reindeer migrations I wanted to have. Um, there's a lot we could be doing, but I realize I'm going to need to just pick something and go with it. And so today, I picked the wolves. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started by releasing everyone except for Frost to the wild. And before we release them to the wild, for the younger wolves, let's go ahead and see. There are currently no female wolves or male wolves on the market. So, before we, we'll, we'll, if they haven't, Blizzard's old. So, we'll go ahead and release her to the wild. And we'll say that she has, like, fulfilled everything that she wanted to do here. And she and her daughter, Snowcone, are going to be heading off into the blizzard that just came. So, all right, blizzard. We'll go ahead and release her. Because that will be good for the zoo's fame. And it will be good for her. And then we're going to have Crystal. Crystal, you're actually pretty young. And you've got decent genetics with, like, maxed out freaking fertility. Um, should we hold on to Crystal? Could, she'd be the aunt of the boys that we have over in the Glacier Wolf Pack. I don't know if we want to have them that closely related still. So let's actually go ahead and send her to the Trade Center. And then, there we go. We'll offer her up to the world since there's no wolves currently available. Because I think that would be, and there's a sneak peek at the mail I found. Because I think that would be really good for, like, her to be able to go forth. We'll put her at, like, 4,200. And if somebody, like, yeah, 4, 480, 4, 4,200-ish. 
And if somebody wants to take her, then wonderful. And if not, we can just go ahead and release her to the wild or have her go find a new pack by putting her up for adoption like this. And then finally, Snow Cone, same deal. You're actually really pretty healthy, even though like you currently had very complicated <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, permafrost and blizzard. Okay, thankfully her family wasn't related. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. She's got really good fertility too. And we'll do the same thing. If somebody adopts her, awesome. If nobody adopts her, that's fine. We'll make it work. All right, snow cone. And then let's go ahead and trade. So they're escaping out into the blizzard. There. And into the wilds, my friends. So we are changing the shape of our pack here. And Frost is the only one who stuck around. So Frost is the only one who's here, but not for long. Now I would like to introduce you guys to her brand new mate. Now let's move him in. He is a gorgeous, super healthy, fantastic male that's going to be arriving in this storm. We should give them like a permanent little snow blizzard. Oh, to celebrate this. I love that idea. All right, let's get going. I don't like to pause too long, you guys know, because I like to keep things a little challenging for myself. But let's actually do some of that. Let's do like some of the snow blowing that can show up as a special effect. And we'll add a little bit of that. Yeah, look at that, that's really cool. Let's do large. Oh, that's so cool. I love that, to celebrate that, you know, the, the huge little avalanche we have here collapsed for just a moment. And let's just copy this. What happens if I copy a chunk of our avalanche? And then we can go ahead. There we go. Actually, that might be a really clever way. We could just have a whole avalanche of the snow. Come on down. Oh, here he comes, the new meal. Oops, didn't mean to pause. Pausing doesn't let me panic. How will we know that it's me playing or, or like building our wonderful world if I'm not panicking? All right, there we go. There's more snow, nice little avalanche we've got going there. And now we have, I would like you guys to meet, elk! So this is gonna be elk because we had moose, right? And moose are very, very big, I love moose, but I love the idea of calling this guy elk because that just seemed so freaking perfect to go with another very, you know, he, he has to live up to moose's legacy, right? So calling him elk just seemed absolutely on point. And then let's actually give them, let's give them like a bunch of snow to be able to just climb down there so that they don't have these big old spots they need to worry about. Let's see, big old cladding. We could do like a little collapse of snow to let people walk down. Very nice. See, nice little snow pile. That's actually really fun. That's so satisfying too, to hear the crunch of the snow as you put things down. All right. Oh, look at that. Much nicer. See guys, we have a whole world to build, including our reindeer migrations, taking care of, I hear the snow leopard babies, taking care of Christmas jam, the doll sheep. <laughs> what a cute name taking care of everybody here. And it can be really overwhelming at first, but if we're just taking a little bit at a time, I'm sure we'll get there. All right, let's actually get this down. Nice. Scooch you over a little. There we go. So now we had our avalanche that came over here as well. What happens if I, yes, look at all that snow. That's kind of what I wanted. I just wanted big old piles of snow. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's actually really nice. Just a big giant pile of snow that we can swing around. There. Maybe a little more over here. Down. Oh, very lovely. Down just a little bit, over just a little bit. 
Yay! Big giant piles of snow for our little avalanche that we've got going on. Maybe a bit more. Right there. Nah, that's just, that's a snow bridge. <laughs> I've now made a snow bridge instead. All right. We should add in another snowman or two. That would be really cute. All right. So now that we have covered that much, uh, let's move this so it's not bothering my very special little sun, uh, little solar panel. That's what those are called. I was like the sun absorber. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. It, it, it is a sun absorber, but I'm not quite there either. <laughs> All right. This is much nicer. It helps when we just kind of like pick one spot in the zoo and go for it. Why is nobody up here? Let's get people up here. Let's find out what people really want. They need more education so we can, oh, we could put the ambient speaker for the wolves over by like a little cabin for the guy who we want to live over here. And we could say he teaches them about the wolves while they come up to like buy things from him. All right, let's do this. Let's see. Guest facilities. I just want one small little arctic shop right up here. That'd be perfect. Okay. So I think the guests are kind of hungry. I can't believe none of them are checking out my wolves. Maybe it's because the number of wolves has gone down. But I'm sure that they'll be working on that for us soon. Um, Let's see. The Drunken Huntsman. What? Okay, that would be cool to add in as a building into our shops in a little bit. What food should we add in up here? Because I think it should probably be a food. The hot dog squad. <laughs> you know what? I love that idea. We'll say that this man makes like a little like vegan hot dogs and he serves them uh, on top of this mountain where he lives. Hot dog squad. Holy cow, that's really loud. <laughs> But yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. We'll go ahead and um, he's just going to be, let's see, the cabin. Wolf cabin. Wolf watcher cabin. And you know, he's he's a good camping sort of fellow and he appreciates just having some nice campsites. Uh, and what do you do at campsites? You eat hot dogs. That's really adorable. Um, and then we're going to need... I can never remember where the arctic shells are. Blueprints? I think under blueprints. No. Sorry guys, it's been a few days for me, so I'm adjusting. All right, we want the shop small. Yeah, this thing. Look at his little cabin. What an absolutely precious little cabin that is. There we go. I love it. And then this is going to be a wolf watcher cabin. There. Oh, look at people. They're just like beelining for him immediately. And now they can watch over the wolves. Can we give them... Let's see, facilities. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We also want to give them like the speaker so that he can educate them while they're here. So let's do information, education, transport ride, utilities. There we go. Viewing devices. Uh, go away blueprints. Holy hungry people! <laughs> they were really desperate for some food. Um, sorry about that, everybody. And then let's lower this down just a bit. I can't see when I do that. There we go. And we'll just leave that kind of hidden right in there. If I can just maybe reach the educational thing, please. Please. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay. Back up. There we go. And then we're going to teach about the Arctic wolf. We'll spread the range out quite a bit. And then let's just shove that sucker into the rock. <laughs> In fact, let's spread the range out even more. Because if you're over here, you're here for the, like, wolf. There's- there! And then people can hear his wisdom. Because on all levels, they're going to want to come and learn about the wolf. So I have no problem with that. Whoops, let's slow things down. There we go. And there's not really anywhere- I mean, we could put down a few benches, I think. So people could kind of rest. This is a big improvement on our wolf area. I'm very happy about this. Can we do picnic benches? Should we do picnic benches? Maybe. It's not really a picnic spot the way that like down here is a picnic spot, but you know, he's, he's proud of his little campground. He's got enough. Everybody can just take a moment to chill and rest with him. Learn a little bit more about the wolves eat some of his campground hot dogs, 
And speaking of which, we're going to need to give this guy a name in just a moment. Uh, you know what? Let's actually just do benches. Because I feel like everything else is a little too crowded. Alright. Habitat cleanliness is at risk. Hmm. I will work on that. There we go. How many benches can I get over here? Just one? Oh, that's much better. See? There's some room for people to be able to, like, sit and rest with our really awesome hot dog making campground person. Let's move this over. Duplicate. No, unfortunately that won't work. Alright, there we go. And we can change the colors. Voila. So that we can just weave these cloths that are now over the bench from the, the wool that we gather from our wonderful sheep. And then let's come down and finally get rid of all this tall grass. Because <laughs> the tall grass shouldn't be on top of our little mountain. There we go. Poking through the ice like that. There! See, slowly but surely we're making huge improvements to the whole world. And then we're going to come in and we are actually going to rename this guy. He's going to be, um, I guess we'll call him like... Wolf Watcher. This is going to be Wolf Watcher Elias, named after one of our amazing patrons who make all of this possible. Seriously, I don't know how I would be surviving January without them. So thank you so much to all of our wonderful patrons and to all of you guys who are just chilling. You know that by now. And we're going to have him come in. His work zone is going to be uh, Shepherd's Nook, but you can actually... Let's see. Yeah, Shepherd's Nook. No, 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 no. Just Shepherd's Nook. And one of the things I've learned is that you can actually go to the individual vendors. And let's find Wolf Watcher, Elias. We're going to train him. And you can go ahead and assign him to a specific shop by assigning him, like, one specific shop. There we go. That'll be his preferred shop to always work at. He's feeling a little overwhelmed right now, but everything's going to be okay. I promise, Elias, as time goes on. And then let's actually, let's get kind of wild over here with the, the snow. Because we had that big giant blizzard, right? That brought different wolves into different areas. So I kind of want to just like go a little bit wild with the snow. Because we don't normally get to just take the time to decorate like that. And let's rotate a little. Very nice. All right. Perfect. Yay! Look at that. Elias, do you happen to know that you're living kind of just basically on an avalanche waiting to happen? Because I'd be a little bit worried if I were you. All right. We'll shove that back a little bit. And people seem to like Elias because I think they were ready to have something to eat. <laughs> Which is totally fine. Alright, let's see. Get more snow down here. And, you know, I think one of the secrets to making an area look super naturalistic is just going and not obsessing too much about where everything is placed and how it's placed. Ooh, nice! There we go. And also using the very, very big cladding. I love this thing. It just covers everything. Like it covers a huge amount of space so quickly. I'm a little obsessed with using it no matter what form it comes in. And down. Very nice. I'm very happy with that. That's a much nicer look to our little like wolf mountain than we had. And I hear the wolves. Let's go check on them and see if they're getting along. Oh, and we need to get rid of all of their items, don't we? That'll be a great way to wrap that up, too. And then finally, let's see how people feel about being in this area. We'll see if there's something we could be doing to make the people who come here even happier. And straight down. In. Over. Nice. <gasps> yes! Frost is about to mate! That's exactly what we needed, you guys! Oh! Congratulations, you two! We're gonna have wolf pups, right? Yes, we're gonna have wolf pups! 
Oh, I'm so excited. Another new generation. Oh, that reminds me. We need to add an elk's, elk's piece. So we're going to grab this elk. I'm going to go ahead and put this piece right over here. And we'll have his little bit of the legacy added in. Oh, and look at that cool avalanche walk that our keeper can do now. That is so much fun. So he is actually uh, the added member to generation three. And he's going to be the elk. There we go. Wonderful. It'd be kind of cool if we had real elk or moose uh, that we could add in. But we have many, many other animals that have similar horns that I could be adding in. That I just have not yet. All right. And Christmas Jam, please don't interbreed. I should have moved you. You're one of my favorite names. I'm going to have her moved in to Rachel's sheep pen. And let's actually check the males who are in here right now. It's Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell, do you have gold? Jingle Bell does not have gold. So I'm actually going to move Jingle Bell out. Because we do have a very, very healthy new male who's even better than that. Nightlight. This is why the, what the bachelor herd is for. One specific dull sheep is never meant to control the herd of females forever. We will rotate them around to have the best genetic diversity. There we go. All right, this is, this is coming along. I, I definitely think we could add in like a few more things, a few more trees. There, oh, definitely some trees back here to kind of cover up that I missed a spot on. Our wonderful Elias is new cabin. So exciting to finally have some more food that people can eat. All right, let's cover that up back there. Nice. A few of these little pieces. Oh, I love how if you just bury them like really deeply, they just fit in perfectly. Oh. Oh, and the snow is coming back. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, guys, we're going to need more wolf pup names. And we might even see the wolf pups be born in just a second. That's kind of exciting. Uh, and I need to make sure. I suppose the view of the Arctic wolf from here is fine. Okay, we need to make better views for these Arctic wolves. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it's just too high. Hmm. I've got to think about how we're going to do that. All right. And where is the enrichment? Habitat contents. There we go. Large snowball, large snowball, large ball. And they're bored of all of them. So we're going to get rid of all of the balls. I'm going to have to find the other one because they've gone and rolled it somewhere else. There it is. Right over here. And let's get them something new. <gasps> glacier of the Glacier Wolfpack is about to die of old age. What the heck? What? I'm trying to like celebrate our wolves over here. Oh dear. All right, Arctic Wolves. His sons are gonna have to inherit that position for sure. Uh, let's put in a block of ice seems appropriate as a new toy for our wolves. Uh, and then let's add in Pinata enrichment, present sack. Uh, these are supposed to be toys for them. So let's do the chew toy. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do a chew toy. There we go. Ali Pass has joined. <gasps> what? You were supposed to wait for me. What the heck? Oh my gosh, babies! Like, that was no warning at all. We have just completely new wolves in our wolf pack while I was trying to get them some toys. Do we have two? We have two new little ones. Welcome. Welcome, itty bitties. And they are gold level. A gold level female and a silver level female. We have two little girls, you guys. Oh, that's so exciting. Congratulations, Frost. All right, so Frost and Elk have already built up their new wolf pack, which means that we're going to need two new little girl names. Perfect that they are little girls because hopefully they will be able to uh, become mates with their distant, distant cousins. Distant enough that it's not a big deal with some of the boys from over here. And oh no, Glacier's gone. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe how quickly our packs go by. Thankfully, the aging isn't ridiculous anymore, but still. All right, and they want one more toy. It's so sad to know that one wolf, like the ebb and the flow of the wolf packs is just what it is. They need one more toy. So let's go ahead and give them 
Prey Scented Sack, I think. Because I think that would be perfect for them. There. Yes, all right, that'll do. That'll do. Let's check on them now. 100% happy. All right, guys, there we have it. I'm really happy with how we have updated a whole bunch of this area. We need to continue to make our guests happier so that we can try to like balance out how much money we're making. Uh, it looks like everybody is really enjoying the snow leopards, but they're not so much enjoying the wolves. So I think we need to change how people can see the wolves. That might be something that we work on next time. But we have other things that we definitely need to be doing in order to take care of the rest of Shepherd's Nook. So next time, it might be time for goat cheese or it might be time for many of the other projects that we have taken on. We'll have to see what emergency... Oh my gosh, look at everybody in the snow leopards. <laughs> Maybe we'll continue to work on the snow leopards because we need to start capitalizing on this. Like, what the heck? There's money to be made here to take care of Shepherd's Nook. All right. A town meeting and tending to Shepherd's Nook next time. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the addition of our new Little Arctic Wolves and the expansion of the Wolf Pack. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.